of my favorite phrases is some people are so rich all they have is money. Yes. And when we say funding, there are so many other aspects of getting close call it resources than just getting somebody to write you a check. I mean, Craigslist has been absolute gold. Because, I mean, we talk about funding, but we also talk about passion. If you can find people who really are into what they're doing and are willing to set aside a little bit of time to put towards the cause, then you found funding right there to get your advertising, to get your promotions. Like, the magazine we work on, I put an open call out, we put, and we find designers who just say, I, I will give my time of day to help you create your magazine. And, I mean, that is funding, but it's through passion rather than just finances. So don't think if you have a low budget, you can't get your project done. Because there are enough people out there who really do care as much as you do in order to put the time uh, to complete it. If you want to discover what the best idea is and the best way to approach it, I think more communication and being able to open your work, whether it's creative work or business plans to others, is important. It struck me that with so much attention to social media and communication in general, often it is not used effectively or as a distancing mechanism. Exponentially more can often get done by picking up the phone and speaking to somebody or copying people on emails, soliciting their personal contributions and opinions. But people often have their nose down, either literally in the street texting or going through their paces, accomplishing what they think they need to. But if you don't check with other people and get good feedback, you don't have a real reality test. And many times you can get a better product by communicating, soliciting opinions, rewarding people who are involved. But without personal attention, if you're just sending out tweets or hitting the social media that people have, it, you're, you're not going to get as good a product or as many people involved. Mike and I have pushed each other because he has a more spare design sensibility and I'm more like surrealistic. Nothing succeeds like excess is my philosophy. Well, he's moderated my most excessive impulses. And I pushed him towards the brink of complete insanity, or at least to be at the edge of his design sensibility. So it worked out well, that partnership, but we didn't communicate a lot or would not. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, absolutely. Get other people's point of views. If you have an idea, put it out there. And some people may say, you know what, I think this is crap. Listen to them. You may not listen, you may not agree they think it's crap, but see why they think that. You know, a lot of people are in a bubble. I think my idea is the best. This is, oh my God, this is am amazing. Def he, he's right. Always get a myriad of views because you'll, you will get a better product. Definitely. Thank you. Sorry. Yes, I agree with that, but I think also, like, sometimes you gotta, you got to trust your own gut yeah. and do what you think is right. I've had people continuously my whole career, why would you do this? Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Why did you do this? And I just did it. And in the long run, they were calling me back being like, is that you who just did this? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you gotta, like, on some level, trust your gut. And I think, I think, that if you, um, if you are hyper original and you are, like, like I said, two steps before everybody else, it's frustrating because, because people don't get it initially. But I think if you're on and you know you're on, it will come to you and you will you will be happy. Artists have influence and they have local community. The two need to be talking more together. I took a hip hop artist from Sierra Leone, who's one of the biggest hip hop artists in Sierra Leone, who sells out 75,000 person stadiums when he goes home. I took him to a high profile, high, high, high profile UN event. And when he met one of the UN representatives who advocates on behalf of millions of young people in Palestine and the other places, or millions of people affected by the conflict in Palestine. Um, when, I, when he introduced himself to the artist, he said, so what kind of music do you do? You're an artist. He's like, well, I do dancehall, I do reggae, and I do hip-hop. And he's like, hip-hop? And he laughed. And it was like, wow, like you are in charge of so much money and so many lives, and you laugh at hip-hop. Like, maybe he was uncomfortable, he thinks hip-hop is rap, maybe he thinks this or whatever, but if you don't know at the community level what hip-hop is doing to change communities, you are out of touch. So, yeah, so I just, I'm a big believer that um, if you can still infiltrate that world and keep your independence, 
or your your soul, um, do it.